All right, good morning. It's uh, 625. I'm at the Blackburn Trail Center. This is the main house. And uh, I think I said yesterday it was owned by the ATC. I think it's owned by the Potomac Appalachian Trail Club. So that's the club that's responsible for this section of the trail. And they use this. It's There's like bunks for like 17 people in that house, but they don't let hikers stay there. Hikers stay up in that little cabin up there. There's four bunks in there. And they let you stay on the porch here. So this is where I stayed last night with uh, finishes in there, T Tanaka and Red, who I met yesterday on the trail. We slept on the porch in there, and then over there is a building garage, and up above that is where Chris, the caretaker, lives. It's a super cool place. Um, it's down a big hill. I had to come way down the hill, further than I wanted to come at 7.30 last night, but and I gotta climb back up there this morning, but let's do that, get it going. Get to Harper's Ferry. Big old bird feeder right there. And uh, yeah, I'll check in in a bit when I get up the hill. We'll do a would you rather this morning. See ya. Good morning again. I wasn't too, I didn't want to be too loud on the opening shot. There were still people sleeping up on the porch. So, uh, but that was a good place. Um, I'm kind of glad I pushed through and walked down the giant hill to get there. Um, but the hill coming up back up, ooh, good way to start the morning. Anyway, I got like 12 miles to get to the ATC headquarters. I think I can get, go there today and then uh, have a little less rushing around tomorrow morning before I train. And uh, yeah, see what number I get. Uh, making it this way, the halfway point, uh, the uh, ceremonial halfway point, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. And it looks like it might rain. Uh, I hadn't looked at the weather, but oh well, it's okay. It's my last day in Virginia, so that's exciting. For today's Would You Rather, this is uh, work related, factory related. Uh, would you rather, if you had to, for a year, work in a plant, manufacturing plant, that made toilet paper or that made steel? Steel mill, paper mill, converting mill. Uh, you get your choice, one of those. And think about that, and I'll let you know what I think at the end of the day. See ya. There's five or six deer that were just checking me out. That one's looking at me right now. Let's wait and see if I keep moving on. Hello? <sighs> it's standing super still. There you go. Another boardwalk here to navigate early in the morning. I guess it gets pretty swampy here, but just be careful. No slipping with the dew. It's another humid day, as you could probably imagine. I think they need some kind of a front to come through and clear this system out. Hopefully that happens for all the hikers behind me tomorrow. I hear that wind blowing up in the trees, so maybe, maybe something's coming in. Let's get to Harper's Ferry before it does. See ya. Oh, we got a hiker on the trail here. He's, he or she's moving pretty slow. What's up, buddy? How are you? <laughs> going sobo, huh? All right, you keep going. I'm gonna walk right around you there. Don't you fret. Okay. Eastern box turtle. Check that off the box of things seen on trail. Let's go. All right, it's kind of crazy to me. This is like the fifth blowdown in the last like 400 yards that we've had to cross. And these are old blowdowns. And you got that Potomac Appalachian Trail Club Center right back there that is a place where their trail maintenance crews can stay. So it's like two miles away from this thing. Ugh. 
I don't know why now send somebody down here with a chainsaw and cut these things all up. You can see, there's, I can't see. Another one back there, another one behind that, further one back. It really makes no sense. It seems like trail maintenance guys would eat this thing up. But no. And Virginia's turning into Pennsylvania to welcome everybody what they're going to get there. So it's a little hard to move quick. I'm also thinking I'm extremely glad I've gotten Pennsylvania out of the way because this stuff does not help my left heel. The plantar fasciitis in the left heel that's just hanging around uh, isn't like it's going to be for the rest of the hike, but these rocks are really tough on it. All right, let me get back to it. Good morning. Sure would be nice if this is how the whole trail was. I guess a lot more people would do it. And it wouldn't be such a big deal. Uh oh. Raindrops. I gotta go put my rain cover on my pack. See ya. Here's another dicey road crossing. There's that's the West Virginia border. And there's the Virginia border, so. We're kind of walking right along the border until we get too close to Harper's Ferry. Uh, all right, well, we're going to run. Don't know what I'm going to run. We're going to walk fast. There it is. West Virginia 7, I think that is. Uh, got a beep and a wave from a hike from a car. All right. I don't know, like six miles to go, maybe. Let's do it. Goodbye, Virginia. I am happy to see you go. Whew. A little bit more. My feet are killing me today. I think yesterday, trying to push as far as I did, and as rocky as it was, they're not used to as rocky as it got yesterday. They're hurting today. Almost home. Almost Harper's Ferry. All right. Here's the Shenandoah River, and right over there is Harper's Ferry. I'm about to walk across this bridge and get to the spot that I started. Uh, I forget what day it was that I came down here and did this section. I just got right at the end of this bridge, and uh, if you look at the videos, I walked up that trail over there about. 50 yards and there were two deer standing on the trail that first day that I came out of this section. So, as soon as I get on the other end of this bridge, I've connected my pre-Springer Mountain hiking with everything I've just done since February 25th. Sorry for the noise. It's a busy road. Now I just gotta go get myself over to the ATC Center, check in and get a Midway point picture taken. There's some kayakers in the Shenandoah. That looks like fun. So, I forgot, there's a climb coming right out of this road to get up to the side trail to the ATC. And then that's a big climb too, so these miles don't even count. I already did this, but I gotta do it again. And I gotta do a big hill to get there. Ugh. Oh boy, my legs are fresher. On December 4th and I did this on day 19 than they are today. That's for sure. Ho ho ho. We made it. Let's do it. Go in here. 
got a picture taken, register, halfway point. Yeah, this is good. All righty. Just spent a little time at the ATC Center. Got my midway picture. I'll try and post that. Uh, I was, first she gave me number 115. And then when I was had to write down what I was, how I did the trail, since I did some of it to start, then went down south. She decided I was a flip-flopper, not a northbounder. So I'm um, apparently number 178 amongst the flip-floppers. You get a purple number instead of a red number. I don't know. All I know is I'm there. I got it done. Uh, but really cool was I saw, I ran into Rocky, who I haven't seen since Easter, uh, right before Easter. Uh, he's been ahead of me, but he um, he got here yesterday, uh, or day before, I think, took a zero, went and saw a friend in Washington, and he's getting ready to go back on trail, and he said he would just want to check in and see if anybody he knew was in there. So saw him which is awesome, and uh, now I'm heading to Quality Inn. Um, let's do the would you rather. So would you rather work in a toilet paper plant or a steel mill? Uh, I actually have experience in both, believe it or not. My first job out of college, I worked for Procter & Gamble in the plant's biggest, uh, the company's biggest plant, making Charmin toilet tissue. And then did that for two years and then worked for a company in technical sales, selling stuff into the steel industry, uh, raw materials and uh, stuff that goes into steel making. So I've been in and out of all kinds of steel mills. And if I had to pick one that I would do for a year again, I would do paper plant. It's a little cleaner. Oh, there's a guy cutting his grass right here. I'll be right back on. <laughs> all right just passed the guy cutting his lawn as I walk down the road here to get to the hotel. Uh, yeah, uh, steel mills are super cool, super interesting, but hot, dark, dirty. Um, even the nicer uh, nicer ones, the, the continuous casting ones and electric arc furnace ones um, that don't have blast furnaces, those are uh, a little more modern, but uh, I still think paper mill the converting I was in the converting part so big giant eight ten hundred pound roll of toilet paper would come to us and we'd uh, unwind it rewind it and turn it into thousands of little toilet paper rolls that you buy in the store so uh, I would pick that they're both cool if you ever get a chance to see one or the other uh, engineering marvels about how things work and uh, yeah so let me go find this hotel, try not to get hit by a car, and I will check in later.